Konnichiwa, Forerunner owners and Hilux Surf owners. Have you ever wondered how do you get inside a Toyota Forerunner without the running boards? Probably because you took the running boards off for that sexy off-road looking style to it. Or maybe some idiots decided to steal your running boards for, I don't know, coffee table. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Get inside your Forerunner without the need of running boards. Now I know what you're thinking. Your Forerunner is two wheel drive only. Why do you need to take your running boards off? Well, I like the looks of an off-road vehicle and I prefer to have the looks of a Forerunner without the need of running boards. So the next question is, what am I doing with those running boards? Well, I have plans for using those as tables for eating sushi. <laughs> the need of running boards, open your door. Like so. Next, use your body weight to get inside the car. I do it this way. I'll show you right now. Let me show you that right now in step-by-step -step instructions. All you need to do, grab your right leg and put your right foot inside the driver's foot well. Then use that momentum of your body weight to lift yourself up and then you can be able to put your right, your left foot into the driver's footwell. And now close the door and off you go. Well, all, also, safety first, put some seatbelts on. <laughs> I live in Japan. And I live in the UK. If you want the fucking ball, come dance with Mavic Aspen Daddy G. I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking leg. I live in Australia. How do I get inside a forerunner if the steering wheel is on the right side of the car? Or I would like to say in America, wrong side of the car. Well, very simple for you. All you need to do, also just like in the other side of the car, Open the door and you'll encounter oh an iPad. All you need to do is do the same thing but in reverse. Simple. Let me show you how to do it in step by step. Anyways, just like on the other side, you're just gonna do the opposite. All you need to do. Put your left foot onto the footwell of the car. Then use your body weight to lift yourself up into the vehicle, like so. And then you can put your right foot into the footwell. Very, very simple. Here's a way to get inside your Forerunner without the need of running boards. <laughs> running boards how do you how the hell do you get out well very simple take off your key out of the ignition exit open the door of the car and jump out the opposite is true when you leave the car on this side and so that's how you get in and out of your Toyota 4Runner. It doesn't matter if it's a first gen, a second gen like mine, a third gen, fourth gen, or fifth gen. Oh wait, never mind. I can't say fifth gen because I have a lot of uh, soccer mom viewers with uh, fifth gen 4Runners and I'd be like, I don't want to take off my little side steps um, off my 4Runner, thank you very much, because I like to, I like babying it and I don't like to drive it off road because I don't want my car to get dirty. But anyways, that's not the point. Now you guys know how to get in and out of your Toyota 4Runner without the need of running boards. Now, go out there and show the world what you're capable of when it comes to driving your precious little 4Runner.
click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Bye. I forgot how to say bye in Japanese, but oh well.